It's Andy with Reverb, and today I want to help you find your perfect delay reverb combo pedal. Luckily, this is a relatively new product category, since technology really wasn't there up until about the mid-90s with Boss and their RV3. So speaking of Boss, let's just dive right into it with the latest version, the RV6, which offers a delay and reverb mode. The clever thing about this pedal is that it doesn't have any extra controls for the reverb or delay, so when you're selecting this mode, the tone and time controls are now controlling delay repeats and delay time. And you'll notice with shorter delay times, it's a shorter decay on the reverb. Of course, not every pedal company has the resources that Boss have to create their own reverb and delay algorithms. Now here's where the technology comes in. Things like the PT2399 delay chip, the belt and brick module, and the FV1 DSP help these smaller builders create really unique pedals based around these already built-in components. The great thing about this prelude from Quiet Theory is that it gives you independent switching of each effect, something the Boss didn't have. You also can change that switching to momentary to get some really calculated bursts of atmospheric tones. <laughs>
There's a lot of things to consider when looking for a delay reverb pedal. We've already gone over the independent switching, and if you want to get more control, say on the fly, you'll probably want to look for something with tap tempo. Now, a great example of this is the Avalanche run from Earthquaker Devices. It not only gives you tap tempo, but also expression control for a wide variety of parameters, whether it's delay or reverb. Some other things to consider when looking at a delay reverb is what kind of modes they offer. Something like the Keeley Caverns 2 offers three different types of reverb, from shimmer to a classic spring sound. And the delay has different modulation choices to add something like a subtle warble like a tape effect. <laughs> As these pedals start to get more advanced, you get to jump into something like a dual DSP pedal, like the Collider from Source Audio. This not only gives you different modes for each delay and reverb side, but they also give you more control over the sound with tap tempo, MIDI, and presets. Now the great thing about these pedals is that you can really fine tune the sound to each song you're playing. For instance, I have a really dirty detuned sound, and I didn't want to get it muddy with a delay or reverb that was too long, so I chose this particular preset, which I think just matches perfectly with each part I'm playing. <laughs> Well, there's some things to consider when looking for a reverb delay combo pedal. Be sure to leave some comments below on your favorites. As always, you can find all the pedals mentioned here today right here on Reverb. Thanks for watching.